Hello everybody and welcome back to Pathologic. Today we are continuing on with the game and I think... Oh shit, I hit new game. Okay. Whoops. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, load. Okay. <laughs> so, what happened? Oh yeah, we, we did a lot of reading. That's what happened. I found out that I have the reading level of a frickin' third grader. That's weird. But, uh, we, uh, I guess the story so far is we came to this town, the, as the bachelor, we came to this town to meet some guy, because we're doing research on f basically beating death, and then this guy lived really long, but he just happened to die as soon as we got here, and then, uh, what a, yeah, the fella died as soon as we got here, and then we... The last guy he saw was Isidore, which is his house right here. Turns out that guy died, or not. I don't think he actually died, because he's a playable character. I think the Haruspex, Haruspex is his name in the in game, but his name is Isidore. I don't know. But now we have to go to the Saburul, Sabur, Saburov, Saburov family's house. So we can maybe get inside this house and try to figure out what the hell happened to Isidore. And I turned... Oh, hold on. Yeah, we're going around this way. Boom. Just like that. But yeah, we have to... Oh yeah, I was talking about graphics. I turned... Uh, whatever the hell... Whatever the hell this is, I turned that down to 8. Hopefully that makes the game a little less janky. Uh... There were a few moments of jank, and it looks like it's gonna keep up. Like, every... Every few... Every little bit, it kind of, like, stutters, and I totally went the wrong way. Jesus Christ. Yeah. But hopefully it's not too horrible. Yeah, I think there was just another little hiccup right there. But overall, it seems... It still seems pretty smooth with the occasional little... Uh, thing. Hiccup, what's it called? Hiccup. I, I, I don't know what it's called. Uh, glitch. Frame. Frame skip. That might be it. Oh, okay. Hey, dude. Yeah, this is Sab Sabarov. The rabble is completely out of control. They must have been bottling up their lowly instincts for quite some time. Okay, this guy doesn't like poor people. So, I finally get to see you. Yes, you really do look like a messenger of sorrowful, sorrowful times. In any case, welcome to the Rod. That's what this place is called, the Rod? Okay. Our meeting is quite significant in a way, facing the challenge, facing the changes with open eyes and taking their first blow is my duty. What? Ah, oh, fuck. Already, already I don't. This is just too highbrow for me. <laughs> do you think we're on the verge of any especially unhappy area verge of an era fuck me here we go again okay no grim events have clouded our existence since last summer the country has cured its war wounds commercial communications have been repaired astrologists expect nothing ill do you hold astrologists opinions in high regard astrologists I mean, like, what? What? Who the hell cares about astral? Whatever. Who do I have the pleasure of speaking to, sir? Yeah, let's just get over this. I am a ruler. Astrology can be very curious, but I cannot allow it to influence my decisions. Okay, so this guy's not crazy so far. <laughs> he just doesn't like poor people. I have to act according to the factual circumstances. Would you agree? Yeah. The outcome was to be expected, I'm afraid. Simon was doomed. Okay. So you've come to meet with Simon, haven't you? What can I do for you now? Uh, oh yeah, we're trying to get into Isidore's place. Uh, turns out that... Do you have any weapons? 
Who are the people? I guess we'll go with that. He's been murdered, yes. Looks like the murderer is always one step ahead of you, doesn't it? Dude, I just got here. Chill out. But one step ahead? He was like, whatever. The same one that took Simon's life, too. At least that's the conclusion suggested by the information at my disposal. Same pattern, same signature. Or were there any traces? He's obviously not going to know who did it. Look, I haven't been there myself. I'm quite content with interrogating suspects. Especially since we already know who we're after. Oh, you do? Son of a bitch. You can join the hunt, by the way. I can describe his features. Okay, who is it? You wouldn't believe it. His own son. The fellow came back after being away for quite a while. His father had sent him to study surgery when he was but a greenhorn. Quite a lot has learnt. Quite a lot he has learnt, huh? A wandering scholar turned evil to the bone. All that just to grab the inheritance. Wait, what? Isidore? Who, wait, is Isidore? Who the fuck is Isidore? So it's not the Heruspex. The Heru... Whoa, okay, hold on. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, what did I even say? Wait, how did you figure that out? In all honesty, it's hard to explain that to an outsider like you. Do you believe in such a thing as clairvoyance, Bachelor? Well, I met that Maria lady, so I guess I do now. Well, you should get to know my wife then. Or better yet, those who have already had opportunities to witness the power of her prophecies. Former doubters... First and foremost, rationalists. She's... First and foremost, rationalists. She's got something to say to you, by the way. She's got something to say to you too, by the way. Okay, so... Yeah, let's stay on the subject. Not specifically, no. But it all adds up. And the circumstances of Simon's death make you wonder too. Isidore's son arrived here last night. The timing speaks against him. It even matches the time it takes to get from the crucible to Isidore's house. What's the crucible? I don't know, I haven't been there yet. Or maybe I have. No, I haven't, because that, whatever. That's not enough, I'll have to take the investigation into my own hands. Is there anyone who can help me? Um... Uh, I guess we'll just try and get as much information. He's the type that needs no motives. Okay, wow. Students these days know nothing of virtue and ethics. Okay. <laughs> and a medic, too. Humans are just hairless animals to them. Or even a harmful virus infesting the environment. Cynical bastards. Oh, but I do apologize. Didn't mean to offend you, even by extension. Okay, he, he is quick with generaliza generalizations. Haha, <laughs> but okay. Both of these are, uh, yeah. Uh. I guess we'll kiss this guy's ass for a little bit. Oh. I've got a firm hand. Okay. Come to me. Okay, so what? Wait a minute. What do I do now? Oh, I think I go talk to this guy's wife. Oh, but we got a whole bunch of other shit to do. Uh, who are the people guarding his house? Those are volunteer patrolmen. We usually keep them, keep around 20 of them. But I haven't increased the number recently to 100. But I've increased the number recently to 100 and a half or so. Yeah, why the hell do you need so many, dude? There's unrest in the termitary. If I weren't certain that Isidore has been murdered by his son... I would even consider the crime to be politically motivated. Isidore was preparing to take over the kin and become its leader. Who's the kin? God damn it. At least according to the information I have. Your wife again? No, the source is a bit more straightforward this time. And you really shouldn't look down on my wife's talents such as skept- Bro, I didn't- I said- Okay, that's not what I said, but- Okay. Although you'll come- you'll come- 
Although you'll come around soon. I already did. I already said I believe in that shit because I met that other dude or lady. Uh, hopefully your lack of faith won't end up being too costly. Okay, chill out, dude. Jesus Christ. Time is... Shit. What are you... What the fuck are you talking about? Well, talk to her. The entrance to her chambers is on the other side of the house. I've talked to her already. It seems a little bit out of it. Okay. All right. Well, I guess we'll go talk to her then. Uh, the other side of the place. Oh. Oh, we have to go back outside. Okay, so uh, what happened? Okay, so Isidore is not the Heruspex. Heruspex is Isidore's son. And right now, people are thinking that uh, the Heruspex murdered both of those fellows. Is what's going on here, so it seems. Okay. Jesus. Now we talk to this lady. Matchmakers are coming. Trying to woo me. Match- oh, matchmakers are trying to woo- okay. The only proper way for a duel to end is with the death of one of the fighters. Okay, yeah. That's what battles are supposed to be. Any conflict that has two sides inevitably turns into a battle of good and evil. Alright. A brutal philosophy. Never liked the black and white mentality. Okay, why? I'm not speaking metaphorically or metaphysically. I'm talking about the very, a very particular battle. You are one of the combatants, Bachelor Dankowski. Do you favor good or evil? I, 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 I'm winning. I'm a winner, dude. <laughs> I like winning. Spoken like a true warrior. Yeah, I know. I truly, wi I truly wish you victory, Bachelor, even though I doubt there can be victory at all in this battle. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, you are very kind. Simon, to tame his impertinence, Earth had disgorged a monster from deep within its bowels. Wow. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, you... Uh, why? This fight is very unlikely to end in your favor. <laughs> yeah, probably. I heard this game is fucking hard, man. I hear it gets brutal. Uh, does a clay and bone man-eater leave traces of the kind you've witnessed? What? Does a clay and bone man-eater leave traces of the kind you've witnessed? What? It's only a spell, an illusion. They can- they just prefer to see it this way. It makes it easier for them. Yeah, what man-eater? I'm sorry to break it to you, but you will have to fight to the death. Even if it were a metaphor, the ending is still unambiguous. If you don't find out what happened before nightfall, you will die. Okay. How do you know this? I'm clairvoyant, okay. What's the nature of your visions? This should not, your be, <laughs> should not be your primary concern at the moment. You should concern yourself with the number of minutes you have left. Well, I mean, we're in dialogue with an important character, so time isn't ticking. <laughs> and uh, that number is dwindled. Not right now. Don't throw predictions around. I thought that was going to say precious. Others will tell you how often they have come true. Do heed my words. Time will tell. Okay. Talk again. My stomach hurts as if I was filled with straw. Oh, the torment, I can't bear it. Yeah, <laughs> why don't you take some painkillers? Uh, do you think Simon Kane's death was unnatural? Yeah, that, okay. Not at all. How could some... How could someone who had absorbed all our blood not... Not die? Oh, oh that's weird. A single man cannot handle that. There are limits to a living being's vi vitality. And there are limits to the world's patience. Absorbed. Wait, what do you mean limits of... Can I, like, ask all these at once? Because holy shit. Yeah, that sounds a little more important. Simon transformed our town into a single whole. A living being. 
He was the heart, and we were the blood running through the town's veins. We radiated his light. And that's why we used to shine so brightly. The bound are actually bound to Simon. Okay. Limits of the world's patience. Yeah, what does that mean? Oh, wow. Okay. Can't elaborate upon this. I can only feel it. What? As if this, as if this, yeah, as if this was a heavenly mandate. Mandate? Where the fuck? I'm pulling words out of thin air here. As if this was a heavenly wrath. Where the fuck? How did I get a mandate? Okay. The play, the the payback for all that he had done. The world couldn't stand it anymore. But the world must have made someone its weapon, right? Who is to blame for his death? Even if someone did have something to do with it, is that person worth blaming? Most likely, they they didn't even realize they were killing someone. Yes, that's how it was. Now I see it very clearly. Oh yeah, you're clairvoyant. Oh, okay, so I, are we done here? The wheel of my fort. We're done here, okay. Uh, I'll, let's go back to the other guy. Um, what's his name? Uh, I forgot his name. The guy who doesn't like poor people. Uh, Saburu. Saburu? That's his last name. Man, that's just a weird arrangement of vowels right there. Sab? The outcome was to be Alexander Sabrov. Simon was doomed. Okay. Oh, so you've come to meet with... Si okay, uh... Um... Okay, let's go with that one. Uh, that's the same stuff. So who did it? His own son? Wait, how'd you figure that out? Uh, of course I do. You should get to know my wife then. Uh... So do you have rationalists in the town? There are very few good analysts in our town. Everyone is more or less superstitious here. That's great. Except for one, Yulia. Okay, you're gonna skip that one. Perhaps. A most level-headed and reasonable person. The only person to remain skeptical, skeptical, <laughs> skeptical about Katarina's talents. Who's Katarina? Two. Uh, without a shadow of a doubt, she has her own picture of events. She always does. What is this, y Yulia? Exactly the person I need. What is this, Yulia? She came here with an engineering team when the town was being built, rebuilt. Did logistics or maybe communications, not sure. They said she's a true expert in her field. Smart, yes, a polymath? Don't know what that means. Then the team left, but she stayed. She has my respect, but not my fondness. Very well. Alright, so now we're going to talk to somebody who is somewhat smart? I guess? I don't know. And that's not too far away. We go all the way around here. Alright. So we should be able to cut right through here. These two houses are even right over here. Then we go across the bridge. Go north. To this fence. Go west. North. East. Works. And let's get the quest. Uh, today's quest. Okay. She's is genuinely capable of rational thought. <laughs> then, then she is more astute than the majority of her contemporaries in this town. There are those who would believe that if I'm unable to pinpoint the murderer by nightfall, then I am destined to become the next victim. If my encounter with death is so inevitable, then I should prepare myself for it. As ludicrous as it may be, the thought sends a chill down my spine. Am I actually gonna die on the first night here? That would probably be, like, expected, to be honest. That's kind of a me thing to do. Die on the first possible area. Alright, so now we go talk to this lady. And, uh... All the all the guides and stuff I found 
say to just get the main quest out of the way as soon as possible. Like, every time. So, that's uh, what I'll do. So, uh, we... Man, that was so much talking. Holy shit. So, we're still looking for the murderer. And... Uh, do we come this way? Okay, yeah, we should be able to... Oh, n maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. I don't think we can get up all the way there, over there. Another hour passed. Okay, we can just... Uh... That doesn't make sense. But, if yeah, we just go north right here. We got a clothes shop. Right here. But yeah, we're still looking for the murderer. That's pretty pretty much all that's going on. That conversation with uh, Sabarov... We pretty much just learned that uh, they're accusing... This is right, yet. yeah. They're accusing Isidore's son of murdering both Simon and Isidore. And this is the one person... It's so lonely here. The one person they said was logical, somewhat. Rational, whatever you want to say. I seem to have lost any capacity for observation. My mind is out of tune. Things are no, things no longer add up. Before, I had no trouble forming a trustworthy... What? Tessellation. Out of the most... Im oh, cake. Oh, my... Imperceptible contingencies. Now I, now I simply cannot get my head around it. Could it be that I am dying? Uh, I don't know. Uh, it happens when people are tired. <laughs> okay. Um, you're probably tired. Oh no, Herba Tervina. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh man. Is in blossom. I grant you. But then it blooms every year. Every year, the step is filled with the stupefying vapors. The issue I am having, however, has nothing to do with fatigue or perplexity. It is just that I've lost my ability to make distinctive events coincide. Uh, what? Everyone has that ability. You don't seem to understand what I'm saying. I don't, really. Let me... Elude elucidate? What? Oh, what the fuck? A single word someone utters may be perceptible. Precipit- Oh my god. <laughs> A single word someone utters may precipitate the birth of their own murderer. This line- a philosophizing is barely an intellectually in, barely an intellectual novelty, and it is particularly relevant in our neck of the woods. I sometimes feel like I could touch the notions of cause and effect with my with the tips of my fingers. But now I am being tedious, I reckon. Uh, yeah, a little. I'm I mean, it's natural. Simon was doomed. Okay, everyone keeps saying Simon was doomed, so... I guess. So, you have traveled all this way here, only to find that both people you wanted to see were brutally murdered. Is this how the story goes? I do hope that your visit is not in any way related to these most unfortunate circumstances. Me too. Um, I've yet to meet anyone who can help me in the slightest. I doubt I can do that on my own. Tell me plain and simple, what do you make of all this? I have to find whoever it is that killed Isidore and Simon, and I wanted to ask for your help. Sabarov told me you have a gift of all manner of investigative inquiry, I guess. I guess we'll go with that one. We gotta find the murderer or we'll die. That's what the clairvoyant said. I'm certainly no better investigator than you, 
I never had a chance to search for the murderer before, but I can... The best I can offer is to fill in the blanks with whatever mysterious supernatural entities seem most fitting. Shabnak Adir, maybe, maybe that's how you pronounce it, is the simple man's scarecrow. I would have followed a different narrative. What kind of narrative? Consider the circumstances of his death. They said Simon had locked himself up in the evening and consequently died in the morning inside the mansion in the chamber with some pe peculiar name. Peculiar name, what? Yeah, what is that word? That's the second time I heard it. Yeah, what is that? The step demonology describes it as a kind of golem. Belched up by the earth to punish all manner of delinquency. It is shaped as a young woman, but made of clay and exhumed bone matter. An unnerving concept, is it not? Uh, yeah. I've always suspected that primitive worldviews still exist in the remote corners of our country, but I couldn't imagine they would be so active. I knew you would be exacerbated, exasperated by the, this discussion. The sacrifices, bovine tails, handfuls of milk teeth in a glass beaker. Milk teeth? Wow. You may forgive this to children and step people, yet having the same notions reiterated by someone sounding by surrounded by books on natural history. This must be vexing. Oh man, what the fuck is going on? How would you explain this? The answer is bound to irritate you even more. The tales are true. Um, so you believe all that yourself? Hey. <laughs> it is beyond debate that Shabnak Adir exists. What is dubious, though, is that bovine tails and milk teeth offer genuine protection from her. Okay, well, that's good to know. Which is to say, sympathetic contrivances like this may be of, our, of some use to children and people from the steppe, but are explicitly, explicitly ineffectual. Oh my God, Jesus, this, who the fuck wrote this? For someone, I know what like I know what they're trying to say. I can fill in the blanks, but the actual pronunciation of this shit is like. What the fuck? Okay. For someone like you and me, we are too literate, too deprived of the scripture codified in ancient soil. God, I went to her to, like, get help for the murderer. Now we're talking about fucking... For crying out loud, Yulia, you're a, a mystic. Savarov is mocking me. Whatever, let, let's just... Let's go off the deep end. <laughs> Let's just go in here. We have no choice but to acknowledge rules enforced by the step. We tried to ignore these rules to place ourselves into the framework of advanced modernity, but to no avail. Modernity. Yeah, I said that, right? You can call these demons what you want. You may refer to the hair eater as time. The hair eater. What? If this will make you any happier. I'm comfortable with- I'm comfortable with a more juvenile vernacular. No, you're not. No, you're not! Okay. <laughs> it is what I'm used to. No, it doesn't seem like it. I will find a rational explanation for the crimes of this man-eater by evening. You will- if you- if you help me, of course. You're repeating something that Isidore wants it to be almost word for word. By the way, I found I find this murder far more infuriating than Simon's. Let's go with that one. 
In this case, I would suggest that Simon was poisoned by the Canes. Oh, okay. So Simon got poisoned by his own family. By the Canes, I would have thought. But I know their family all too well. Their mutual loyalty is only rivaled by their arrogance towards anyone who is not one of them. Okay, their arrogance is all shit. They hold a pricey sage, um... They hold a, a princely... They hold a princely sage who stands at the head of their family in highest esteem. They believe that a single dishonorable act will tarnish their name for generations to come. I doubt any of them have stooped to this, no matter whether they wanted to or not. Okay, so <laughs> they did not accuse them, so the Canes probably didn't do it. Poisoned. But did they? Yeah, poisoned. I don't believe you understand that he died of focus really implies. No, I don't. Do you know what the Canes refer to as focus? You don't seem to grasp this. No, uh, <laughs> these are the Canes for you. Okay. Okay. So they're basically double talkers. They say a whole bunch of shit. They make a whole bunch of references right in front of your face, knowing that you don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Alright. The focus is anything but an abstraction. Quite the opposite, in fact. It is governed by mathematically rigid regularities. You see, no one but the owner of the focus may get inside. This can only mean that Simon had brought the killer with him, or rather, within him, since no physical object may be brought into the focus either. Okay, how do you know that? Who doesn't? <laughs> okay. The Canes are notoriously passionate about all manner of synthetic anomalies. They will never pass up the opportunity to devise a Kinstock? A Kunst... Okay, that looks German, but... Because the umlauts, but whatever. That would allow them to warp space, challenge physics, and manip manipulate optics. Metaphysically, a focus can be compared to a camera obscura. Do note that the name is not unfitting. No. It is entirely impossible for someone to get inside. Okay. Well... This, this entire world seems to be fucked up, and logic doesn't seem to play too much into it, so I guess we'll play into it. Drink or eat, but that makes one suspect foul play in regard to Israel's death. He had been stabbed, after all. And you're not, you're not also allowed to eat or drink. Disfigured and bleeding. Is that so? Well, this does introduce a different perspective. Did you say? Did you say Isidore was the last person to see Simon? The question is, who did he see before? The sun had not yet set when Isidore returned home from the steppe. However, the he came to Simon well after midnight. The question naturally arises, where did he spend the missing few hours? That is why I'm trying to trace Isidore's steps. I want to talk. I want to walk the same route. Was Isidore seen with Saburu by any chance? I don't know. What? I don't know. Okay, I think so. Okay, alright, let me suggest then that while he was in the step, he saw or learned something that he wanted to report to all three ruling families. In this case, either of the Ogimsky family should be in his... It, wow. In this case, either of the- either of the- what the fuck? Especially since Burak 
was one of their own men. Definitely a bold project. From the abattoir to the railway. Is controlled by the Olgimsky family. If Isidore's discovery had anything at all to do with the kin, Isidore would have certainly relayed that relayed it to Vlad. So do you, so do make sure you to pay a visit to the lump. That's the name of the Olgimsky mansion. Another fitting name, wouldn't you agree? <sighs> what the fuck? Okay, so the lump. So that these are where the canes are. Olgimskys and Sabarovs. Holy mother shit, dude. What is that? That's the railway station. That's the abattoir. First block of the termitary. Second block of the termitary. The machine. Uh oh. The butchering room. The long facility. The old facility. The boiler. Okay, so factories and shit. The old Gimskis are the factory people, I guess. Wow, this is. I don't. I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. Uh, okay, so we should be able to just walk all the way down. Yeah, go out. Go down. Okay. Yeah, go straight. Then at this building, the town hall, we kind of just do a sidestep around it. Go down here. There. Uh, so I am getting a little bit lost here. Because there's just so much shit being thrown at me. So, uh, we're still just trying to find out who murdered Simon and... The other guy. Uh, Simon and Isidore. And our only suspect is... Uh, his uh, Isidore's son. But... There's a whole lot of weird shit going on. Hey, kid. Can we actually trade something? Hey, you, don't mess with us. We know a thing or two about life. Let's barter. Am I able to actually do anything? I don't know how to, like, do this stuff. And it's probably gonna make me, like, lose the entire game. Oh, he oh, there we go. Meta- okay, so... An outdated immunity booster. I guess we'll... Do that for a razor? Okay. Do I... Um... Oh! Okay. Ah, there we go. Okay, <laughs> there we go. Successful trade. Oh yeah, so this is the town hall. We kind of skirt around this. And go to this trash can, actually. Hey. What a... So, I, yeah, I'm lost. Uh, <laughs> to say the least, I'm a little bit lost here. And what is this shit I keep picking up? Um, we know all about you. What do you got? Absolutely nothing. Yeah, this is the town hall. We skirt around this. Boom. Fill up our water. And we... Ooh! God damn. Oh, I think I searched these already, yeah. Okay, uh... I, I really just need to gather my thoughts on what the hell's going on here. Because th they're just... There's so much dialogue being thrown around. Like, did my quest update at all? Uh, I follow... I'm following Isidore's wake. 
Certain that the trail of his footsteps will lead me to the crucible. There is little doubt in my mind that Isidore was well acquainted with the with each of the family, with uh, with each and every family in power. But it was Olgimsky that held Isidore's leash. A relationship rooted in unbreakable family loyalty. It is with the Olgimskys that I must make my next dis destination. Okay. Is this is this supposed to be like all over the place? All this dialogue, is this supposed to be just like confusing as all hell? Well, I mean, it's not, it's not confusing. It just feels like, it feels like a lot is being said, but nothing is being said at the same time here. Oh, there he is, there's Big Vlad, I remember you from the- The playbook. girl is fine, but the boy, <laughs> the boy's unbearable. Okay, wow, you got one hell of a voice there. Ah, Bachelor Dankovsky, of course. Who else would be so dapper? What? I don't know what that means. I've heard quite a lot about you. Have you taken a look around? Be sure to check the state of the industry around here. We have our own ways. Okay. Um. How curious. Come now, it's a complicated establishment. The thousand years of history, a special approach is required to control such a colossus. See w where I'm getting at, emissary? It'd be pointless to object. Such business always leave room for improvement. Was I being a dick right there? Oh, okay. It'd be pointless to object. Oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, oops. I can see we're not really seeing eye to eye. The project is special, very special. That means common standards do not apply here. That'd be very naive. Uh, if I if I say that, is that gonna be sarcastic? We'll come back to that. Uh, you're probably right. No, I won't believe in some earthen killer. What? Yes, getting everything back on track won't be an easy task. I'd like to inquire about the fate of my colleague. Oh, there we go. Here we go. What are you implying? About the manner of his death, to be precise. What are you implying? That this manner you're talking about? What is this manner you're talking about? Be so kind as to mind your own manners. Okay, stay. I pissed him off. Great. I had nothing to do with it. But they say Isidore was murdered by a step demon. Don't don't they say Isidore was murdered by a step demon? Of Shabnak Adir? There was, there was that thingy, a talon they fished out from the wound. Right, a demon. Why didn't I think of that straight away? It was, oh, that's sarcastic. Okay, okay. I can't take this from kids and weirdos, but you, but you are respectable. And... Okay, that's a little more direct. <laughs> it's, it's hard for you to believe, isn't it? It used to be a hard for many. Take my boy, for example, a scoffer. A scoffer if I've ever seen one. And now even he believes it's real. He went off and... He went off his head a bit. You're in the step now, esteemed sir. Eastern and backwards. The dead arise from their graves here. Clay dummies dance and bulls talk. How does... Does he know the step well? That son of yours? And how do we catch this creature... There must be a way, right? I have no idea. I'm not a step man. These animals are only as interesting to me as they are productive. <laughs> All is good. All is good as long as the plow is pulled. As for how they're quacking among themselves, who would seriously take an interest in that? Why was I cursed with a son like this? Oh, my sins. My ha! <laughs> Shit, dude. Okay. Holy shit! You don't seem to like step people. They're dangerous, they're aggressive, and they hate everyone who isn't a step person. They'll jump you and kill you on the spot. They'll tear you up with, with their teeth and devour your flesh while you're still throwing fists at them. So if they're spotted within the town, countermeasures are taken. Whoa. 
Okay. So your son knows who the murderer is. Okay, yeah. Hold your horses. You want to talk to my blockhead? <laughs> no, you have nothing to talk about. He's not here, thankfully. I don't want you two to meet. You heard me? These are tradesmen's words, and I'll stick to them. I won't leave it at that. Hard. It's hard. Isidore came to see you last night. Don't try to deny it. Yes, it will be hard. Okay. Why are my children like this? <laughs> this guy doesn't like many people around here. Uh, how do you think Simon died? I don't think he was murdered. How could he... He who craved... Monocracy... Not perish. He couldn't... Not in this place. Balance requires equilibrium. So Simon's course of action contradicted yours. So what you're saying is Simon's death worked in favor of the local hotshots, huh? Come now, what I'm saying when everyone takes too much upon them. What I'm saying is when everyone, when someone takes too much upon themselves, they always end up ground down. That's how life works. But there were signs of an otherworldly visitor that night, weren't there? That they say Simon was the one to bend the circumstances, not the other way around. No one seems to doubt that. Simon has lived a very long life, very long. He was a worthy man, but long doesn't mean eternal, does it? No one is to blame for his death. Examine the body, you'll see for yourself. It just happened. Cain won't let me examine the body. Well, that is temporary. A family tradition. He's not lying to you. He truly believes Simon was murdered. Were he, were he were to admit that Simon simply died of death, he'd probably go to his last home himself. <laughs> the shock would be too much for the man. That's strange. Georgie Kane didn't appear, appear sentimental to me. Hmm. So my how Okay, is it or don't even try to deny it? So what if he did? I'm also aware that I'm also aware of what you two had been talking about. All I want to know is why he left to see Simon afterwards. Oh, are we bluffing? Oh my god. Are Are, are what were you two? Oh my, oh my. Pray forgive me, so he wanted to bring me to heal. That traitor, that bastard. Well, what he asked for was me to stop the factory. How could I not kick him out? Did I just bluff there? What the fuck? I never... Don't remember hearing anything about that. And there was the other question of me asking what they were talking about. <laughs> what did he tell you? Who else could, have, could he have spoken to? Perhaps someone who could take measures of what kind. What were his reasons? What were his reasons? His reasons, huh? The bastard, he... Reason he'd pay a visit to my dog. Whoa. What? Okay. He knows full well how to pull my strings. Well, I told her to lock the door. So away he went, none the wiser. Oh, the bastard. So he went to Simon, huh? Thank goodness my loafer of a son is hanging out around somewhere. Or else he could have. Could have what? Huh? That, my dear and respectable friend, is none of your business. My property, like I s said, is in order here. Is in order. See the skin and meat delivery reports. See the skin and meat delivery reports. Do you know how hard. No way. It's my domain, whether anyone riots or not. And I'll have my way with them. See, I see you're the big guy here. What? Okay, so we're done with this guy. Okay, so... Dude, I think we bluffed there. I think we totally just, like, played that dude. Okay, a cunning lot, are they? The older, the older Olgimski does his best to avoid any mention of his household. When I asked him what his son was doing, 
the honorable stock breeder momentarily lost his temper. I think that the son knows just as much as the father, and it'll be easier to get him talking, but where can I find him? Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, I... <laughs> That's a great question. That's a good question. Uh, okay. Where, so... Well, oh, we could probably go and talk to one of the other families. Because everybody seems to know everything around here. It's a, it's a, one of those small towns. God, I hate small towns, man. Um, and that's some, like, some serious drama in that one family. One of the three big families around here, so... We could probably go to uh, these guys... Yeah, we could probably go to the Canes. Georgie Kane. He came up. He was mentioned. So, okay. Hold on. So, Isidore wanted Olgimski, Big Flad, to shut down the factory. Big Flad got mad and kicked him out. And then he went to Simon. Uh, yeah, I guess. Okay, I guess we'll go, I guess we'll go all the way over to, I think that's Georgie right here. That's, um, Maria. That's Maria, and then that's Victor. Victor kind of seems like a dipshit, I th think. So, yeah, we'll go to Georgie right there. So, to get there, um... Wow, there's a lot of closed off stuff. Is that a gate right there? Probably go out, come down here. Cut through all this. Boom. Oh, that seems pretty easy, actually. Yeah, we head out right here. Boom. Okay. So now we need to go find where... <laughs> that guy's... Di what the fuck? What in the fuck is this thing, bro? Hey, hey! Dude! What the fuck is this thing? Am I going the right way? Oh, is this dude leading me? Okay, alright. Oh, they have jumping in this game, okay. Uh, what in the fuck is this thing? Ooh, that seemed helpful. Oh. Fuck it, let's follow it. Let's follow the thing. Okay, let's save, actually. <laughs> let's save. Let's actually save. Uh, I hear that's important in this game. Hey, 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 Is he trying to fight me? Oh, yep, he's trying to fight me. Ah, okay, we got our first little combat here. All right. Yeah, nice try, bitch. Oh, okay, all right. Shit. Oh, fuck. Uh-oh. Okay, well, that was a little weird. <clears throat> nah, nah, dude. Nah. Let's not. Let's just, let's just go to uh, Georgie's place instead of uh, fighting whatever the fuck that was. <laughs> okay. We gonna load? Okay, yeah, let's just... Not fight that thing with my fists. I got one good hit on it. I guess I was. That's kind of a weird. 
combat system, which it's supposed to be. Not exactly a combat game. Not exactly Ghost Recon. <laughs> oh, nice. Perfect. Perfect area for a well. Yeah, and this, we should just follow this road straight. Uh, cross the bridge. Keep going straight. Get the Georgie. You know, they're always gone. It's like, what are you looking at? Okay, what do you got? For, ooh. Rifle ammo. Okay. Um, what is this? Needle. Ah, oh, fuck. What does this cost? Price two. Can I, is that all I can give you? Fury. Okay. Missed out on that pretty important piece of uh, equipment right there. Rifle bullet. Nice. Well, well, see, what is this shit? That money. Oh, I, oh, I think money. Yeah, because I'm bartering, so I'm not able to use money. I mean, I can only use, like, stuff. Why? Why do they always stare at me? What are you staring at? Jesus Christ. Yeah, I think we I think we can only use money in shops and stuff. Wow. Pathetic. Dude, they're literally staring at me from like far away. And why is it the women? The dude the dudes are chill as shit. Here we go again. Okay, that's another store. Yeah, here we are with Georgie's place. Yeah, I, that's like a spider looking thing with those big shits coming off the side, and we got the polyhedron. So yeah, this place is not logical, and I, I think I've done okay at not pissing people off. I think I kind of pissed off Big Vlad there by accident, <laughs> but all right. So the Saburovs have offered patronage to some changeling. Who is she? I don't know. I'm counting on you, Doctor. Okay, no matter what happens, the truth will be revealed in the end. How many doctors are there in the town? One more thing. I'd like to examine your brother's body. Oh my god, I don't think I finished all the dialogue options with ha half these guys. We have sent for Isidore's Burak's most accomplished apprentice. His name is Stel Stanislav Rubin. Quite a resolute and talented man, this Rubin is. I have great expectations of him. He will bring everything you need, to, and you will examine the body together. Okay. Uh, I'm no pathologist, and and, uh, and autopsy is not my specialty. But I could perform a pre preliminary examination. I'm genuinely sorry, doctor, but our family traditions were cherished for as long as the family has existed. One of such traditions traditions requests the body, the dead body, be left alone for 24 hours. The body is not to be seen or touched by anyone. This period of deferral will be over by tomorrow. I'm afraid I must insist. I might have I might have agreed to break the the tradition, which is sacred to us. Which is as sacred to us as it is meaningful and responsible, reasonable. But I am entirely convinced that there is no va valuable information at all for you to derive from the examination of the body. I'm sorry, but no exception can be made here, not even for you. Uh, reasonable? So that's a practical um, justification. On several occasions, excessive haste has led to undesirable consequences. The phenomenon that Isidore had invited you here to study, it is in our blood. This physiological trait, the phys this physiological trait in our family shows itself from time to time. That's quite intriguing. What the fuck does that mean? 
the examination of the body will not help you in any way. This puzzle has to be solved within your mind. I'm not able to or even allowed to tell you any more than that. Believe me, I'm not trying to conceal any evidence from you. The body is kept in the ice house. It is intact, but focus may not be breached. There, there's that word, focus. I'll wait for the required period of time. To ensure the safety, yeah, okay. I'm deadly tired. Ooh, which one of the locals? So from the Sabarov said that Yulia lady could help us. And now I guess we're gonna get a name from this guy? I don't know for how long you will have to remain here, doctor. You are most welcome to be my guest, even though I won't try to keep you while you're here though. And especially since you're trying to find out the truth, it is my duty to offer you a piece of advice. Okay, all right. This remote place has a history of its own. There is not enough time to re retell it to you, which is unfortunate since it is the background of the town that may possibly justify some local conventions that will most likely seem barbaric to an educated person like yourself. Okay. What traces of history... What traces did history leave in your society, then? There are three truths that rule this town. Three origins, three ideas, and three families. Okay, we got a... We got a theme of three so far. If you like... If you like. For several generations, these three powers have been in conflict with each other. Okay, like the families. I suspect one of them can exist... None of them can exist without the other two, yet each of them strives to dominate. Each of them has its own voice, too. Ah, okay. I've studied philosophy at the university, and I take it far more seriously than some of my colleagues. However, I failed to see its usefulness at the time. Now tell me more. Okay, yeah, called it. <laughs> These voices are the ruling families. The co-owners of the Bull Project. The Bull Project? Who have been ruling the town for almost two centuries. Each one of the truths they represent is screaming at the top of its lungs. And in so doing, travesties whatever value it carries. Trav travesties. Yeah. This is too complicated. Yeah, how does that do with the brother's murder? So much pathos. I The first voice is Sabarov's. The second is Olgimsky's. The third one is us, the Canes. We are the three heads of one beast. Each of the clans will offer their own understanding of what's going on. Each of the three will use their own voice and the voices of their followers to lie and distort the truth. Okay. Alright. We cannot, cannot exist otherwise. However, in doing so, we will inadvertently reveal the entirety of the truth to anyone who will listen. Who would listen. You suggest I believe you, so I'm surrounded by lies. How exciting. Truth is my only idol. It is only for truth that I fight. Well, no one will dare lie to your face. I have no doubts everyone will tell you the truth. Uh, okay, are you sure? Oh, they will tell it in such a fashion that the truth will conceal the reality better than any deception would. So they're lying. That's just... People are gonna do to me what you just did. <laughs> they're, they're gonna... They're, they're gonna tell you the truth, but they're not gonna tell you the truth. Okay. I see. The only thing I'm asking is that you don't jump to conclusions. Compare different versions... Your extraordinary intelligence will allow you to ascertain the truth. That inspires hope. Furthermore, each of us will try to paint the paint a rather ungainly picture of the other two. Most likely, we will fill you with fill you in on the negative sides of each other of each other faction and withhold anything that is good about them. That is inevitable. None of us will stoop to outright slander. So everything that will be said is most will most likely be true, 
but this truth will be one-sided and incomplete. Which is a lie. A lie by omission. You're doing it again, dude! Okay. Listen carefully to what we say and take it into account. These, your words are a pleasant surprise. The stories of the evil, evil that the Cains have unleashed onto the, this world are par partially true. Do not feel obliged to act in our favor. As you can see, I will stop before nothing to ensure an unbiased investigation. The lack of prejudice I want to instill in you is the one and only reason why I am making a confession like this. I do not want my brother to have died in vain. Okay, okay. Although this could be manipulation right now. I'll take your words seriously, do not worry. Okay, wow. I have a heartache. How many doctors are there in your town? If we exclude Isidore and that guy, the, the Stanislav. Oh, Stanislav is the only doctor here, okay. He's the most competent of Isidore's apprentices. The rest are good for nothing, as far as I can tell. They're only capable of distorting the knowledge their teacher is trying to pass to them. Do you trust this Reuben? I would trust Reuben with my life. A competent medic of remarkable courage and laudable integrity. Everything he does every everything he does is done with appropriate diligence and care. He doesn't like people that much, but he is eager to serve them. Why do you ask? I wonder what kind of man he is. How do I get to know him? Reuben will come here tonight to get down too. Reuben will come here tonight to get down to Oh god, to get down to examining my brother. You will get acquainted then, okay? So the Sabura Now we're done with that guy's dialogue options. Oh shit. I think I think I have a lot more talking to do. I think oh man. <laughs> shit, yeah, I should have been uh I should have been doing all these dialogue options from the start, I think. Unless all those were new, but I don't think so. Nothing about uh, Big Vlad's son came up at all, so I think we'll go... Talk to Maria, get all those dialogue options out of the way, and then we'll go talk to Victor, get all those out of the way. Uh... Why can't I move on my own? Well, the Kings have always been out of touch with mundane reality, but we were driven by... Okay, I've already seen that. Okay, so we got her out of the way, okay. Now we'll go talk to Victor. And then I think we'll call it once we're done with Victor, because I've been going for an hour eight right now. So... So basically what we need to do is go find Vlad's son. That's what needs to happen. And, because there's a lot of, uh... Animosity there between the old Gimskis, I guess. And that whole thing about the families not, you know, not trusting each other, or all trying to... I fear that Simon's death is a symbolic... Okay, we got... Okay, well, okay, we got this guy done. Uh, so I guess the Sabarovs... Well, what should I do? Um, a cutting lot... Okay, so yeah, now we need to go find that dude. Um, uh, Vlad's son. We need to go find Vlad's son, so, uh... I... I guess the last place to check... Well, I mean, we have a whole bunch of characters to talk to. We have all the canes to talk to. We can't talk to Big Vlad about it. He doesn't want us to find his son. Um, we got Eva right here. I don't think she'd know. Uh, we could go try, but I think, I think a better chance would be to go talk to the Savarovs. Since they're one of the big families, they probably know the drama going on there and know, know where he is. Uh, her, that was just a confusing dialogue completely, but yeah, so Huh. 
Really not sure entirely what's going on here. But I think that will be it for this video of Path and Logic. Uh, just as much talking as the last time. I think I did a little bit better with the reading this time. I still had a <laughs> still had a lot of uh, a lot of mm, uh, screw ups. I mean, like I have screw ups when I'm like talking normally, anyway, so it's not that much of a difference. But yeah. So if you made it here, thank you for watching. If you watch any of my other stuff, thank you for watching that as well. And I'll be back with more of this pretty soon. And I think we'll just go talk to the Sabarovs. And if that doesn't work, then I guess go to the nearest person next, but we'll figure that out next time. So yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you later.